So I hear that you're stepping into a new era of intimacy, Pisces, a new era of mutual empowerment, a new era of what's mine, what's yours, and how do we bring together what's ours so that we mutually flourish. Got a solar eclipse happening in Libra on October 2nd. That is in your house of power, intimacy, <laughs> uh, less politely known as the house of sex, death, and other people's money. The, the, pow the house of mergers, right? House of debts, house of investments, right? What we share and how it can either multiply and empower both of us or how we can accidentally or on purpose disempower ourselves by the people or the powers that we associate our, ourselves with. You know what I'm talking about? So a lot of times this can speak to our intimate partner, the person that we merge our finances, body, soul with, but this can also be really powerful institutions to which we pledge ourselves. A new era of intimacy and a new era of sharing your power, which is basically the same thing. Also, hi, <laughs> I'm Madeline, if we haven't met before. So we've talked about your stars. Let's get into your cards, bearing that overarching message in mind. Now that eclipse is also riding alongside the south node, which says that there is a need to release something that isn't working for you, an old pattern an old pattern around the way that you merge with other people or the way you empower other people or the way you allow others to empower or disempower you. The intimacy with which you allow people, do you, you know, quote unquote, give away your power to things or people? Things to look out for. Okay. I said we were going to get into your cards. We're going to do it. I'm an intuitive reader also, if you haven't been here before. So when spirit talks, I relay. So let's get into the story of your month, Pisces. We're going to pull a persona card to see how you are showing up, what aspects of yourself that spirit wants to point out for you to use to your highest good, your best advantage in the month of October. And spirit, we want to know what themes are showing up to meet Pisces. And we want to know how is Pisces showing up. We want to know spirit anything that is pertinent from the recent past as it pertains to the present and to the unfolding future. I want to look at the climate surrounding Pisces in the month of October spirit. What kinds of energies, events, opportunities, challenges, what's showing up for Pisces because we know the truth is always for their highest good. Truth grants clarity. Spirit we want to help Pisces step into authenticity, fulfillment, joy, expansion, fun, love, abundance. What do they need to know in the month of October to better orient to their highest good? Okay, let's see what we got here. Perfect. Pisces. Pisces sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising and dominant people in the month of October spirit. Want to know what is showing up for Pisces and what you want to share with them for their highest good spirit. How is the path forward looking and what would you advise Pisces? Hey, love to see that. Interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. So the first thing that I'm hearing, Pisces, is, excuse me, if you're waiting for everybody to understand or approve, that's never going to happen. It's the unfortunate truth. We can't please everybody all the time. Doesn't matter how sweet and wonderful you are. That's the damn truth. It's unfortunate, but there it is. You show up as the King of Cups, gorgeous. Wonderful card, um, displaying a lot of emotional maturity, displaying a lot of depth and the ability to navigate that depth with grace. So some of you are, um, uh, you hold space for others might be therapist or counselor or facilitator of some kind 
um, helping other people get to the bottom, you know, the deep blue sea of their own feelings, their own worldview, and gaining some clarity where there may have been tumultuousness. You know what I mean? Um, and you are also served by staying in deep, deep contact with your emotions. You know, that said, I want to pull one more and clarify this future just a little bit. Spirit, I see some hesitation. Wow, geez. Okay, y'all heard that? Did y'all just hear the cards jump out as I was starting to ask my question? Okay, I was going to say, I see some hesitation. What is it that you need them to know? Well, okay. As you can see, it's all here in your cards. Okay, so let's start with the past. Three of Wands, great plan, great idea, already set into motion, waiting. Waiting to see, is something coming for me? Is the message that I sent out in a bottle going to get a response? I feel like you get a response. So <laughs> the past is that Three of Wands, You've come a long way already. You've been walking along a path. You've hit a certain spot. And now here comes the answer. The sun looks extremely positive. Looks like it makes things clear. Um, you are better able to move forward. Now that said, I think for some of you, the answer is not the answer that you wanted. Now the outcome is still the sun, is you being able to move forward with clarity and um, joy and vibrancy, right? But Five of Cups is sitting in the energy around and available to you. I feel that for some of you, you get a response or an answer that you weren't wanting and that is disappointing, but the Fives are tests. The Fives are places where we can lose ourselves by focusing on kind of the quote unquote wrong things or being a little too, um, we might be looking around at what everybody else has and comparing what's going on with us and making assumptions. And that will only hurt you. That's just what I'm hearing. Um, so five of cups, three cups are overturned, right? Three cups are empty. We've lost something. That is just the truth. It's like, nope, that's not the answer I wanted. I made it like, this is what I'm hearing for some of you is like you make a pitch and you get a no or you get oh yeah, we can do that, but for this amount of money, not for that amount of money or whatever, where it's like, this is not what I wanted, but it's not quote unquote all bad. You've got two upright cups sitting behind the figure in the five of cups, right? He's got his eyes so down that they're in his hands. So he not only can't see what's back here, he can't understand like how much more fruitful it is than what he was trying to make this into. This was never going to be fruitful, is what Spirit is saying. But there is still a lot of wonderful stuff remaining in your life. So again, King of Cups, we need you to be very aware and keeping your eyes really open. Not doing this. Okay, Pisces? Um, eyes up. And Spirit is saying, you know, might sound cheesy, but the whole rejection is redirection. That's what Spirit is saying right now. So if you do receive a rejection or a no or half a no or a yes but and you're a little disappointed, spirit wants you to know you are still meant to come out on top, okay? You are gonna gain clarity from this. And actually, I feel like it's gonna take you in a bit of a new direction. So rejection is redirection, okay? I wanna jump to the, the advice, the guidance. Zero, the fool, talk about a fresh start. Talk about a solar eclipse. Um, talk about doing it your own way striking out on your own, not being afraid to, uh, you know, uh, spirit is actually using that phrase to burn the boats and to be like, well, screw it. I want to try it this new way. If it truly that old way is dead to me or is not suited to me anymore, then it's best for me to actually go ahead and like try out something completely different because I know I, you know that whole saying about we keep trying to do the same thing and we expect different results. It defines insanity, blah, 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 blah. Let's try something else. Let's try a fresh start. The guidance is burn the baggage. The, the, the guidance is don't judge what's ahead based off what's behind you. Then you'll, you will make incorrect assumptions. That's just what I'm hearing. This is something totally new. So rejection is redirection. I'm not going to carry the baggage of that rejection with me. 
I'm going to accept and have faith. <laughs> the card sitting here, hopes and fears. A great match to the fool is the star. I'm going to have faith that if this wasn't the thing for me, that it's because there is something else for me and it is something better and I can walk forward with courage. I don't need to stay back here and keep staring at these empty cups and just hoping that someone will come along and, and tip them back up, clean them out for me and refill them. What is good for me is already present. I just have to look for it. I just have to pick my head up out of my hands, turn around and see all the literal fruitfulness that is available to me. Um, but I won't find it if I keep searching this barren ground. Okay, that's just what I'm hearing. So, sitting in the future, Two of Swords, clarified, thankfully, by Judgment, and then the Three of Pentacles, and those two leapt out, as I said, when I was asking my question, one after the other. I was only going to pull one, but Spirit wanted two. So, like I said, it seems like this rejection redirects you to, oh my God, actually, the the thing or the idea or the path or the tour or the whatever is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And actually, if I hadn't received this rejection letter or this, like, no, or gotten rebuffed or whatever, it wouldn't have led to this amazing idea and epiphany. And I want to try to make that make sense. Here's one version of the way that, that Spirit is showing it to me, okay? It's like a songwriter. And this songwriter really wants this thing to happen for them. And they apply for this grant or this to be in this show or whatever. And they get a no. And it fucking sucks because they really wanted that thing. And they were like, but that's the dream. And that was the thing. And I just know that that is the thing that I needed. And the rejection uh, causes them to have um, a really clever set of wordplay. And they sit down and they write a song. And then they put out the song and the song goes viral. Do you know what I'm talking about? You can get redirected to something bigger and better and more befitting of you than whatever maybe the original thing was, as long as you don't get stuck on it. It's two of Swords, Five of Cups getting stuck on it and over-focused on it. Let go, let God, be, be fucking, be... Yeah. Spirit doesn't always go biblical with me, but they're quoting my boy Jesus. Consider the lilies of the field. They do not toil. They do not spin. I'm paraphrasing. You don't need to make everything happen. You need to be available for what shows up and to act upon it with all of your beautiful, creative, spiritual faculties at hand to be able to see and hear the messages, the point, the key, the point, the truth when it shows itself to you to be able to see it and act upon it with faith. To hear the alarm go off, judgment, to see things for what they truly are, and to start building with that truth in mind, three of pentacles. You will create something new and you will find also people who want to mutually empower and support you like a network. That's what I feel with this three of pentacles, a network of support maybe some expertise that you yourself do not possess, but you need to bring in a team or a network to help you out with. It's there for you. Or if it's like, I want to do this in groups or I want to create a group, it's there for you. Let go of the baggage of maybe how you've done it or seen it done before. There's a whole new way going to be presenting itself to you. So your job, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to keep your lens clear and to keep your beautiful equilibrium. So do your meditation. Take your daily walks, journal on purpose, just so you can always know the state of your own mind and the state of your own heart as you walk into your day. Keep your equilibrium. Clarity will bring new, um, new visions that you will build. It's a totally new thing. You're going to be really fucking excited about it. I'm curious if any of you know what this is. Very, very curious always. If you would like to share, please do. Um, I appreciate your time, Pisces, and I really hope that it has been worth it for you. <laughs> and if I don't see you before then, then I hope I will see you in your mid-month reading. Bye, Pisces.